Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to the Victory of the Dual Monarchy mod. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover. And right now, we're taking a good look at China, who spells its name going upwards, which is very weird, but that's only just because there's too many Chinas to really keep track of, and we're helping them fight the Japanese with some, as you can see, very incredibly strong tanks, because it is what it is. Regardless, uh, we're doing Educate the Masses currently. Uh, it has no description for its focus. Whatever. It's 1938, November 22nd. We're having a good time. We've got 150 political power, and we can do stuff against ra radical socialists. Alright. Interesting. Cool. And we do want to end the Brest Litovsk payments. Finally, we get 5% more war support. This will be nice. Thank you very much. We didn't have to cancel them anymore. So, very, very good. We've paid off our debts. And I guess now let's go make a few more tankies and beat up some Japanese people. Can I say that? Yeah, I said it. And we're going to do it some more. Oh, it looks like the Germans are down here too. Not bad, not bad. We currently get how much? 1.21 political power every single day. We're trying to build up way more civilian factories because why not? Maybe at this point... Well, actually, that's enough. That's not, that's not going to be enough guns with the army that I want. Let's start making a few more military factories, shall we? Get at least one going. One, one full line of civvies, one full line of millies. I think that's good enough for now. Uh, would you guys like to come up here and help out, maybe? Try it out? I'm using the tanks just because I like tanks. Tanks are fun. Light tanks can be a lot of fun. Uh, are you guys getting attacked? Let's see. No, you're attacking. Oh, look, there they go. Yay! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They can definitely pierce us, I'm pretty sure. Hello. Oh, they're done with the battle. Uh, Germany, as much as, you know, attacking is fun and all, sometimes you don't want to go too crazy with it. Is there anywhere else we can help out, really? Uh, you know, I might just do this, then. There you go. There you go. Oh, you might want to go that way. There you go. Cool. Let's get another general going. And I hope you guys are having a good day. We've got a couple comments to go through as well. Sergey, oh, you're an old guard though, Sergey. I just can't click on you. Is that a certain type of stash that this guy's supposed to have? What the heck? Um, I'm going to go with Boris. Sh Stefan. Sh Mr. Stefan. Actually, what is it in Russian? When you say, like, Mr. In English, obviously, it's Mr., but... In Russian, what would you say to say Mr. Somebody? I don't know. If you do know, let me know in the comments below. That'd be really cool to teach me that. Uh, remove the national spirit, ineffective government. Well, oh, we still have this crap, you know. Vienna stock market crash. Ooh. Oh, man, I almost... I don't want to say puke to that, but... Oh, ineffective governments. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, it's almost 1939. But might as well grab some more guns, right? And a little fighter baiting gun, which would be nice. I like this. Keep abusing us a little bit, and we'll have a good time. Let's grab some more output. Let's go more construction speed. I want to build, 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 build. So, good. We got a guy always going to get some XP up there. Or hopefully, uh, there's not really much going on up here actually at all. So, no point in getting bothered, hot and bothered over there. Hopefully, no one wants to take us out. We can close that out. Very good, very good. A couple comments below as well. First of all, so someone recommends I play as... What the heck? Ha oh. Okay, yesterday we saw that Hungary and, like... Serbia and just all these different states were like coming out and stuff. Oh, look at that. We have a light cruiser too. Look at that. That's kind of nice. But obviously, we can't get there. But whatever. Uh, Austria is having problems right now. Um, yeah, they were like dismantling their own empire and releasing people's puppets, which is one route to go. Oh, what the heck? Victors of the Valkyrie. God, that makes sense. Um, yeah. Someone did recommend we play the democratic side of Austria. So you could go withdraw from dualism. Or the Ausklash negotiations of 1937. So, someone recommend we go with the democratic route. Greater autonomy. Dualism revitalized. The United Federal Government, which doesn't look too great or bad. Are sure our Balkan dominance? Or withdraw from dualism. Centralized Habsburg monarchy. Consider the Danubian Federation. A federation of equals sounds kind of cool. Um, let's see. So, I'll probably play them again if you guys really want me to. Uh, I don't mind doing it, because it looks like there's technically four routes we could choose. The Crowland Solution, the Status Quo, the Citralized Habsburg Dynasty, consider the, the Danubian Federation. Which one is the more democratic one? Because this stuff is like... Oh, question about... Oh, power of the, oh here it is. Power of the Reichsrat. Yeah. has Only has representative power. Oh, they went with this one, the Kaiser. So, strengthen the Empire. So, yeah, we'll probably do that one if we... If there's enough support me, I will go ahead and play Austria-Hungary, because, like, with the latest update, obviously, like I said in the last episode... They have a few things more fleshed out. There's a few more you know, rework parts about it. So, if there's enough support, I will go ahead and gladly play some more Austria-Hungary. Because Austria-Hungary can be a very fun nation to play as. Oh, yes. 
Yes, keep touching us like that. That is very weird to say, but whatever. You know what I mean. Maybe. Uh, let's see. No War Economy. Popular figurehead. Well, it's not bad. We could do that. Eh, that stuff is okay. Nothing really there. All weather, not bad. Safety X, but... Hmm... I think we'll go with popular figurehead. Uh, gives us slightly more political power. Gives us slightly more construction speed, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Stability helps you with your construction speed, so... Getting as much stability as possible is incredibly beneficial. Wow, we got a lot of support equipment as well. That's probably a bad idea. Can I throw engineers on you guys? The car is 30. How about recon? Oh, that car is a lot less. Let's go with some recon. Uh, we actually have enough, so that's okay to do. Totally okay to do then. We have spare two tank divisions too, which is nice. Um, guys, please stop attacking. Oh, are they trying to... Oh. Oh, yeah, look at that. We got too many divisions for these guys. Strengthen the Republic. Nice. Let's have economic growth, shall we? Looks pretty good to me. Alright, so let's take a look. One, two. Go right there. There you go. One, two. Buckle my shoe. One. It doesn't really matter. Just grab a bunch of guys. There you go. Take half you guys, too. There you go. And you should be led by... Leonid Golvorov, who has a very good mustache. A very nice stash. Let's head on over here and have a good old time. And make sure we do this as well. Loads of guns are needed. And we still have a good surplus. Nice. Artillery could be useful as well. Motorized would be useful as well. But a well. Actually, with the tank divisions, they don't. we don't have a lot here. Tank armor's nice. Engineers, nothing else. Alright, whatever. We need motorized. Ooh. This doesn't help armor at all. But it does give you slightly more suppression. It gives you slightly more defense. Is it, that's not really worth doing then. <laughs> There's not that much of a difference. How, how much put a... 1.63 every day for political power, huh? We have quite a bit of political power, I would say. Alright, so with that in mind, we're on limited exports, limited conscription. Extensive conscription would be good to do eventually. I'm going to go and grab... Mm, it's 1939. Yeah, let's do like, industrial stuff. Industrial stuff, I think, is just better overall. Even though... Actually, I always choose the one. Maybe I should choose the other one. It's alright, whatever. Alexander, he's learning, hopefully. Pit or Wrangle. Wrangle, maybe. Wrangle, Wrangle, Wrangle. Oh, actually, what's our deficit of tanks like? Minus 600. Oh, that's not bad. We're actually doing really well in tanks right now. Ah, oh, I love it. Build, 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 my friends. Oh, we need some more of this, huh? That's fine. Good. Construction trace. Let's grab some cap, shall we? They should help out up here as well. Yeah, that'd probably be good as well. But they're really... They're just attacking, period. Just... They're attacking like crazy. If that's the case, you guys usually do pretty well by yourself. How about we help out right there? We will use a single tank, tankular division, tank division, to do well wherever we must go. Oh, you're getting attacked anyways. You guys just kind of hang out here. That's fine. As long as Ningbo don't fall, we'll be okay. That's a lot of stability. I love it. Get to Ningbo. And... Beautiful. Oh, wow. They're actually not doing great. And three more divisions. Japanese divisions go bye-bye. I'm halfway considering just getting rid of these guys, but eh, it's gonna hold on. Let's, let's let's not be too rash about it. I would like to help the North, though. Holy bad words! Oh, they're pushing in. Oh wow! So this is all done. Let's go and do Russian expansionism because we love it. So seize Tuva, demand Karelia, attack Turkmenistan. Nice, Karelia and Tuva, huh? Other comments include we should attack or annex Finland, the Baltics, Ukraine, and Belarus, which I always say Belarus. I personally prefer calling it Belarus, but yeah, whatever. Alright, so you guys, let's go over here. I love Finland. Even more political power. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ship stuff. Let's do material designer, infantry equipment, because it's always good to do that. Look at that growing economy. I love it. I love it a lot. It's only 42 days. Thank you, devs. Thank you. And actually, I forgot to do this too. Um, in this mod, do we get. Yep, we get extra resources when we click on some states to work on. So we'll do those, some of those states first. Doesn't really matter to me too much. Nice. So once we run out of stuff or factories to build, we'll have more than enough. Honestly, Russia is just not the same after you play so much TNO like I do. Holy cow. TNO. Mm, I love it too much. Probably too much. Very good. And actually, yeah, this area is probably really, really important to do, especially Baku. More oil, please. Oil forever. Oil today, oil tomorrow, oil forever. Gotta gotta play more TNO USA. All right, anyways, 1939, not bad. We're going, we're got all the way up to here. We want battleship arenas. It looks like this is pretty good for what we want. Um, dreadnought holes. I don't really know if we'll have enough time to do that, but let's experiment with it, shall we? 
Improved crystal holes. Uh, those guys are okay. Oh my goodness. And that's good. Oh, we need. We should have done that one. Whatever. Escort cruisers. Cool. Let's replace you with this stuff. Torpedoes are cool and all. I guess we'll keep that one. That's fine. Rapid fire guns. Escort battery. Only level one. Oh, that's disappointing. You can do. That one's okay. Radar. At least we got radar. That's nice. Level two. And then this one. And then that one. All right. Not bad. Not a great cruiser, but it'll suffice for what we need. Followed up with what? The Valkyrie class, and we want the interwar, interwar heavy hull. We only have level 1, which is kind of sucky. Radar, level 2, everything else is pretty much the same right there. Anti air, well, we grab some heavy batteries, and then get some of this, and then we'll grab one more of those and grab some more. Oh, there's even more options here. Super heavy batteries, that would really slow us down. Even though that doesn't slow us down that much more. Um, Heavy attack, piercing armor. Piercing is already pretty darn good. Get even more attack, but I don't want to. I don't want this to slow us down too much. I kind of like this. This can detect even, people even faster, but yeah, I can't add. Th I can't throw another cannon on there. It's just too heavy. We'll use some of this stuff then. Even more like detection and such. And which one do we want? Actually, interwar heavy hole. Looking pretty good. The Valkyrie class not looking too good. There we go. Actually, I'll put you up top so we can start working on that stuff first. That's, I think, more important, at least in my mind. Alright, not bad. Train if you need to. You guys still looking pretty good. How are we doing? Oh, Grand Assault. Nice. Infiltration Assault. Well, we don't have a lot of armor right now, so that would not help us out that much. <clears throat> uh, a little bit of organization. More breakthroughs. Nice. More max planning. Uh, more organization for infantry tanks. You get one more organization, which is not bad, but not great. Uh, two more organization, less supply consumption, more land out attack, more organization, the same thing as this one, pretty much. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I gotta go infiltration. There's no doubt about it in my mind. How are we doing up here? China sometimes, or Germany I might even add, just sometimes it's just not worth attacking, just saying. You guys will do fine, I'm not worried about you guys. I'm a little bit more worried about this one here, but hey, he's learning. That's the most important thing to do in life, is to do well. And learn, but... To do well. Alright, so I might recommend just mushing you guys over there. The infantry should be able to hold here. Let's see if we can hold here as well. Maybe not. With two of this. Oh boy. Not looking ideal. Alright, maybe some better artillery. I see, and someone recommended that in this mod we should play as Romania. So we'll see. Well, I mean, I'm open to that. As long as, you know, you guys are recommending, like, would recommend or would want to watch that. I'm totally okay with that. It just depends on time. That really just what it all depends on. Move to secure the Caucasus. Oh, yes. Turn your own faction. Rearmament program. For a year, we get more goods and factory output. Let's do moves. Move to secure the Caucasus. So what type of decisions do we have? Integrate Azerbaijan. Oh, do we not have cores in this area? No, we don't. Oh, I just realized that, huh? Attack Turkmenistan. Demand Karelia. Um, if they refuse... They still have Sisu. Okay. Ah, uh, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see, Kornilev, I don't like these old guards, though. I really don't like old guards. Vladimir! Vladimir! He's an offensive dude, which I like. And then you guys. Um, infantry is not bad. Marky and Popov. I don't mind that. Skilled Staffer is not too bad. He's an organizer as well, which isn't too bad. But, Cavalry Leader, man, Infantry Leader. He has a career officer, so I don't mind that one either. Uh, two, 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 one, two. Eh. Alexander. I like the name more. I don't know. They better give us Karelia up, or we're just gonna go in and touch them aggressively. All right, you guys are just hanging out. Man, they really don't like us here, huh? And they're being the Chinese. They refuse. The king of Finland has refused their generous offer to transfer Vyborg, Vyborg, and the party clearly back to the motherland. We want to take our rifle lands by force. Forget about it. Take it back. Three. Two. Go. Go, 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 go. Wait. Wait. Do we not get the decision to go? Um. Went aborted. Oh, we just go to war with them. Straight up. Oh, hello. Oh, we got our Chinese divisions back. Or divisions to China. Yeah, that CC is not doing so well for them now, is it? Nice. After this, we'll go to Turkmenistan. I love it. Uh, rubber would be nice. 1939. We could grab that as well. Air stuff, not bad. We really need some better stuff here. Boom, boom. But honestly, not too much there. 
Land auction we're doing great at. Armor could use an improvement. Uh, do I want to use medium tanks? Not really. Honestly, I really don't feel like using them. I'm just going to keep using light tanks for now. We can research that anyways, but nah, we'll go with this stuff first. Just because I like, I really, trade with Bulgaria. They have approached us in order to further ties between our countries. They've made it clear that they would like to pursue a trade deal with us in an attempt to allow the free movement of goods between our nations and have argued that this will mutually benefit both of our economies. Was the response? No. Of course not. Uh, but the thing I like about light tanks a whole lot is that you can use them as recon teams. So it gives you maybe slightly more recon, but it gives you slightly more armor as well, which I I don't know. I just, I just like, I like that so much. Ever since Tino came out, I'm so much more... A little bit more invested in using more support equipment, more support companies, just stuff like that in general. I, I enjoy I don't know, a lot more now. 25,000, I mean, I don't know why they said no. Sisu does nothing for them if they can't abuse it right. I say abuse it, but you know, if you're not using something, you know, hard enough, you gotta abuse it. When in doubt, don't quote me on stuff about abusing things or people, never mind. Okay, anyways, anyways. Oh, look at the tanks. Yeah, come on in, guys. Helsinki is ours. Fall Beijing. Well, sorry, China. We have our own other wars to do, deal with. I seek allies. Why not? With our geopolitical bloc established, it's time we have sought out allies. We cannot hope to take on Germany nor Austria Hungary alone, and there are many countries around Russia willing to align themselves with someone other than the Berlin Pact or the Dona Adria Pact. Be it because of historical ties with Russia or simple pragmatism. Either one. Doesn't matter to us. Attack Armenia? Mm, we'll get ready for that. War propaganda against Finland? Actually, that seems pretty useful, actually. Builds. Do we need more steel? No, we have more than enough steel. I love it. Bulgarian Russian trade agreement. It's only 2% more, but hey, it's like milk. 2% more, we'll take it. Oh, and someone did say I should. I just should literally not even just like puppet them, just straight up annex them. So, okay. Thank you for the recommendation. Wow, these guys are. Trick medicine kind of thick. But too bad they're not going to be thick for too long. Uh, actually, we may want to increase the infrastructure here. Actually, we definitely want to. Holy crap, this is not good infrastructure. And make sure we're building at least one of these deuterinos. Thank you very much. What is... Uh, wow, that's pretty good. Uh, motorized. Do we have... No. Well, we're not even using garrisons, so... Uh, there you go. There you go. Kajala? Oh, there's local autonomy. Nice. Actually, can we do that forever? Yeah, local autonomy. I don't know why you even want to use civilian oversight. Yeah, it helps resist, put down resistance targets, less damage garrisons, and and uh, require garrisons. But this one, it gives you less damage to garrisons. Actually, the same amount of damage to garrisons. Same exact amount. The required garrisons is minus 60%, and you get more daily... Why would you choose anything else? Seriously, like, I love it. What is this? Is this part of the base game? Did they put local autonomy in base game? Or not? I, I don't know, because I, I haven't played base game in a long time. Or in a while. Actually, that's a lie. But I never pay attention to, to, to it too much. I like this. If this is part of the mod, I love it. I love it. Just because it's like, it gives you slightly more compliance to help you get more compliance every day. It's That's a great idea. Great. Some dude falls ill. Advanced machine tools. Very good. I don't understand how we're 18 minutes in this video. I'm enjoying myself too much. That is why, you know, I don't. I just don't know, man. When you're enjoying something, time just flies by. Yeah, he's definitely got that mustache. He is definitely a gamer. All right. Now, aggression back with the Empire of Japan. Despite tensions between the Japanese and Russian Republic increasing until recently, the Japanese have now opened negotiations for a non-aggression pact. The advantages are clear. To us are clear, but what's your concern is as the revenge will give it to the Japanese and whether we have to live to regret this move. Um, I'll be honest, I don't really care about taking out Japan too much. I really want to focus on the European sector in this campaign, so... If we don't go to war with Japan, I'm totally okay with that. Because I'll probably play the Russians again someday. We'll see what happens. Grab some of that, because you can. Nice. We shall seek some allies, and then, uh... Academy of Sciences. Sure, why not? We should foster deeper cooperation between our allies by creating a collective research initiative. The Russian Academy of Science is already a gateway for Western scientific thought into Russia. It will serve us well as the foundation of this initiative. Boris Shapshnikov. Shaposhnikov. Boris. Boris. Invite the great Mongolian state. They have proven themselves amiable to our influence. Perhaps it's time to formally draw our two nations together? Why not? Alright, they didn't say anything, so we beat them up. I love how this works. 250, 3,000, they've up to 10 divisions max. Oh, 
They accepted our alliance offer. The great, the, the great Mongolian state governments accepted our recent offer to join our Moscow alliance. Our government has welcomed them with a warm heart. Welcome on board, great Mongolian state. I love it. I love it. I love the Mongolians. Never been there. Probably will never go to Mongolia. But hey, if you want to join the war, come on in, boys. How many people live in Mongolia? Oh, they actually have 10 or 2 of them. A little over 800,000. So about 900,000 people live in Mongolia right now. Okay. Not bad. Could be better. It could be worse. I love dreadnoughts. Oh, yeah. We definitely want to boost those big boys up. That seems... Oh, what is this? Large submarine hull. Huh. Now that's large. Cool. And we're doing okay. Let's see what we can use. Recon. Uh, throw some more recon on a recon, shall we? You got enough naval XP for this, shall we? Uh, since, you're, since you're big boys. Wow, that's really bad. Holy bad words. Uh, I'll grab some of that, grab some of that. Let's grab some of that. Let's armor four, five. Why would you use four if we got five? Nice. Super heavies. Uh, well, I mean, if we're going to use this anyways, I mean, putting even more cannons on probably is not a great idea, but eh, whatever. Get some more anti-air, even more anti-air. Grab some secondary batteries just in case, and grab some of that. There you go. So that's 8.3. If we throw on heavy engine ones, okay, that's a little better. Honestly, if we're even using this, then when having the other battleships, they might as well be this slow because you only move as fast as your slowest ship. So actually using, making these guys, or just using these guys really slows our navy down. But I love it. Then again, I'm not really focusing on the navy too much, so go figure. Um, where is everyone? You guys, how about you just come to Ashgabat? We love it. How do we invite these guys? Doesn't exist. Subject to the country. Huh. All right. Interesting. Kingdom of Serbia. We'll see what happens. We shall see what happens. I don't know if there's anything I've done here right. Yeah, that's right. Good. Occupy territory. We could raise the conscription level. We could do that. But do we want to? That's a real question. Do we want to? We should get some military police as well. Capitulate these guys, and this is the way we can go to war with the Armenians. Uh, get a claim on them. Rearmament program, that's not bad. Southern Thrust, I love Southern Thrusts. Not bad. Claim the Straits, we could do that. Oh, yeah, we travel. Oh, wow. The Iraq is looking pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. And there they go. Thank you, Turkmenistan. Have a good day. All right, let's go and just... Uh, let's wait. I was thinking about attacking them immediately, but let's wait a little bit. I'm actually going to have everyone come over here. Uh, hold. I want you to form a line over here so you have all of your orders. Let them go over there. So, okay, that's good enough. So they have orders to go over there, but we're just going to do this. Give them about, I don't know, a few more seconds. So, Bulgaria wishes to join the Moscow Alliance. We received a message from Bulgaria in which they have requested to join the Moscow Alliance. And their message, they said the long-standing bonds between our governments and while pledging their military and air force towards any future conflicts the Moscow Alliance finds itself in. How should we respond? Bull foreign. Darn them? Mm, not sure if I understand that one, but okay. Uh, we could attack Armenia. Give me a few more days. Interfere Turkmenistan. Give it a few more days first. Let's go and raise the conscription level because I don't want to be caught with my pants down without enough division. So I think that'd be a good thing to do. Yeah, elections in 1941. Look at that. Alright, so this area doesn't matter anymore. Let's go with two more. Boom. Boom. I lied. Three more. Cool. Let's just go ahead and attack Armenia. And we love Armenia. And oh, engineers, not bad. Military police, shall we? Thank you. I love five research slots. Go in when you can. Go in when you can. Do we have any planes? Oh, there goes the coming to France. No, we have no planes. Second Valkyrie, war is hack. Bad words. Hello. There you go. There you go. All right, do we have any planes? Uh, we need more military factories, yeah. Get enough military factories will be able to help us make more, way more planes, actually. Which would be the most, some of the most important things we get to create anyway, so. All right, is it gamer time? We've got five days left, and then we would take White Ruthenia. We need revenge for Brest-Litovsk, and the attack of the Kingdom of Ukraine, we will. Netherlands join the Berlin Pact, cool. Let those guys kill each other off. Berlin Pact. Kingdom of Italy, does that have a unique focus tree? Yeah, they do. We should play as Italy sometime. It's not super in-depth, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be. Oh, we're doing well here. Infantry offensives. Nice. Let's grab some armored operations. I like that. We've made two encirclements. Wow, with, with taking like two or three areas, we made quite a few encirclements. 
Wait, oh, Yerevan was a capital. All right, goodbye, Armenia. Sure, you can help us out. Why not? Armenia, I love it. All right, who's next? Invite these guys into great. Well, Southern Thrust, attack the Ottoman Empire. Are they allied with anybody? Well, if they're struggling already, well, we might just put them out of their misery then. Uh, I'll put you on Novosoriesk. Novo... Novorossiesk. Something like that. I love thrusting. Alright, let's go ahead and do some revenge for Brestotovsk. Attack Austria, the German Empire. Not bad. Not a bad idea. Could use more military factory construction. Boom. And then... I'm looking for anything that has more than 50%. Uh, research, not research. Infrastructure. Yeah, that I word. War propaganda? Oh, clean the straits. Huh. I'll go to Persia and Afghanistan. Well, if that's the case, how about we don't waste time here and just do this? Oh, supply's going to be really bad here then. Really bad if we don't do anything about it. Ashkabad? Uh, do all these areas. That's fine. Well then. Boomerinos. They should do pretty darn well. Looks like some of these guys are not doing great. They're probably pretty well dug in, but... We're going to try it anyway. 73%. Not bad. Not bad, I'd say. Still building some military factories. I love it. Let us go, let us go, let us go, let us go. How many guns we got? In reserve, just in case. Oh, casualty, 46,000. That's not bad. Hmm. Tanks are looking pretty good. Fighters, we need to definitely improve those guys. We can make some dockyards, too, eventually. Not a bad thing. Uh, can we go to war with these guys? What's going on? Oh, we need to wait a few more days, huh? Oh, is it like 20 days or something? Okay. Uh, attack Afghanistan, Persia. Just, just go ahead. Hopefully they can't really put a stop to us, so. Excavation 3, very nice. How about we grab... It's almost 1940, so let's grab some... This stuff. Improving community machines? Sure, why not? Nice. There you go. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Any extra planes? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, bombers. Finally, we got some bombers. Nice. That ain't much. But I'll have to do for now. I love the Ottoman Empire. And you know what? I would love a nuclear Russia, too. Thank you. Come again. Okay, we're not winning here anymore. But by putting pressure over here, that means those guys down south of them will put, will have an easier time as we're attacking like crazy. Ottoman foreign policy. They don't have a lot of manpower left. Up to 47 divisions. Or We are moving in, so... And we've got enough guns that I feel pretty confident about this. 46. Our divisions aren't great. But the more str we struggle, the more we learn, so... And I don't want to throw my tanks down here just because supply is so, probably so bad down here. How many men have we lost? 21,000 versus 7,000? Not great. Uh, we could probably stop attacking then. It's fine. Revenge, and we'll do rearmament program. As tensions between the French and Germans continue to increase, the world finds itself closer and closer to the outbreak of new war, one that will define the future of Europe. We must be ready to confront Germans and Austrians when the time comes, and to that end, we must embark on that ambitious program to rearm the Russian army. You betcha. Yeah, I don't like it when you lose, so just kind of hang out for now. Oh, wait. Oh, are they not fighting? Oh, did you... Wait, what? Oh, you're normally this size. Okay. Call him Bulgaria, too. There you go. Another division. Why not? There we go. Nice. Oh, that's in the Arabian League. Oh, are we fighting the Arabian League, too? Oh, okay. That's interesting. A little different. Alright, well. we got This is a much bigger mess than I thought it would be, so whatever. And remember, these guys are just infantry, so it's not like they're really that great. Persia should fall. Afghanistan should fall. Uh, no, I don't think I need to see this game. Thank you. Thank you. Nice, we got that tile back. Good, we should. We lost 35,000. Eh, not too bad. Oh! 
Oh, I forgot. We had open all here. My bad. Then again, we're doing okay on this side, so I don't really care too much. Uh, get down there. There you go. Whatever, we lose a little bit of Baku for now. Whatever. Um, actually... Well, we're going to own a lot more than what I thought we were going to own initially, so... Yeah, we we'll could tech those guys. We're going to wait. Let's grab some more propaganda against those folks. Oh, integrate Georgia? Well, let's wait. Uh, if we don't have Georgia underneath us, there's no point to court, right? Ganja. Yeah, these guys shouldn't be too bad to take out. Belarus. There you go. Just in case. Afghanistan is looking pretty nice. Not great, but not bad. Yes, if you want to join, that's fine with me. No faction for the Ottomans or Afghanistan. The Arabian League. All we need to get... Oh, God. we got to go all the way down to Egypt. Holy cow. That's, that's pretty far down. I'm not going to lie. But, c'est la vie. It is what it is. You might be able to win here, though. Nice. I don't think they have that much of a stockpile in the Ottoman Empire. Man part wise, they don't have a lot. I mean, if we chose to really. Oh, well, we encircled them here. Nice. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. Let's go in here. Thank you very much. Help them out. Three Persian divisions go bye bye. Thank you. And enemy in the East. Ever since the Russo Japanese War, the true enemy of Russia has and it always will be the rising empire in the East. The extremely rich and populous regions of China would also serve us quite well. Oh, how's China doing? Oh, they're doing slightly worse than we left them last time. Beijing's already been taken out. Nanjing is gone. And eh, it is what it is. We had to do what we had to do. If we could take Kabul, that would be really great, actually. Because then you guys would be done here, so... I'm going to recommend you force the attack to force him out. So, there you go. No matter what happens, I don't care if you all die there. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, that would help out. Nice. Do we have any extra up other upgrades? No? Alright. I should be using more divisions. Hmm, we'll see. Of course, then again, by stretching out their, the Persians, we stretch out the Ottomans later on, too, so... Hey, got Tehran. Nice job, guys. Let's go to Oman and go down to Basra. Where's the capital? Shiraz, huh? What if we just walk literally into there? What if? Alright, so we wanted to. Oh, uh, actually, no. Let's integrate all these places. Nice. Uh, Austria, German Empire, Ukraine. What, Ruthenia? Do they have any on here? Oh, they're German puppet. Ah, I see. They're socialists, I see, but even though they're authoritarian. Hmm. All right. Well, that's okay. 1940. Hope you're having a great year. Let's grab some of this. We can lower this by five. There you go. And we can focus on other stuff, including more guns, which would be actually probably really, really beneficial, as well as more artillery and support equipment. Planes, anyone? Planes? Yes. And war fighters. We'll take whatever we can grab our hands on. Boom, boom. And there you go. Good luck. You're gonna need it. You're gonna like the way you look. Hopefully. Cut those guys off. Nice. A little bit of a struggle. Never hurt too many people. Just enough. Enemy in the east. And we're almost done with our poker street. Wow. Russian youth. We get more population. Not bad. I like it. Hey, and it's coming here. Nice. Very good. Hey, we got Basra. Good job, guys. Good job. And there goes Afghanistan. I almost forgot about them. All right, where are you guys at? Oh, that would be good. Send that extra army over and help them out. Oh, America wants... Oh, yeah. FDR, yeah, you like it when we take other, other people, huh? Nice up there, very good. Yeah, I could send some tanks down here, but supply, not great. A lot of mountains, not great. Um, I'm going to take out Iran first. Wait, how is Iran still alive? How are you still alive, Iran? Iran sounds like a very dr interesting place to me. I'd love to, you know, visit them, but maybe not yet. Uh, no, nothing there. Let's grab what? Hmm. Cavalry would have been nice, but whatever. Plain stuff. Uh, I always choose the fighter stuff just because it's so good. We don't have really many naval bombers, so... MIG, MIGs, will be the most important thing we can do here. Oh, no. We got uncircled. Say, it's not so. Never mind. That we're not uncircled anymore. <laughs> the beautiful. Actually, at this point, screw it. Everyone's going to have a front line against uh, all our enemies here, so. Actually, we're fast. If we can send the tanks down into Persia. Wee, wee, wee. And 
Tempo. There you go. Yeah, actually in Persia, not Persia. I mean Iraq. I love Iraq. Never been. Probably never gonna go. But you never know. Seventy-eight thousand, not bad. Ten thousand, thirty-two thousand. Oh, they're, okay. Well, they're doing stuff down there. Motorized, better motorized. Meh. What else do we want? Ah, better artillery. That's always good to do. Better artillery. Vaughn, eh? Oh wow, we're really shifting a lot of soldiers around. Move, boys, move. Nice. Oh, we're actually improving our infrastructure. Oh, pretty. Eh, I don't know. Okay, sure, why not? When you can, it'll give about maybe five more seconds. I don't know, really. Our guys aren't even there yet. Give them a little bit more time. We'll see what happens, all right? Oh, they're actually pushing out here, too, which because we're still leaving a lot. Um, well, you guys move on in, then. Move back on in, if you can. Oh, that sucks. But not really. And you know what? That really doesn't not suck. But lots of pressure on them. I want our guys to get as much planning ready to go. Sure, it gives our enemies more time to prepare and defend. But get more planning. And I'll, we're going to attack in five seconds. Five. One, go. <sighs> we'll see what we can do. It won't be great. It won't be bad. And the tanks already took Baghdad. So, oh, no. Not growing economy. It's already left us. No. It's all right. Armored operations are nice. Let's grab the supply consumption, which is perfect for exactly what we need right now. Um, Tanks. Alexander. Actually, I should probably be using, be using the other guy. Who's the other tank general? This guy, yeah. There you go. Russian youth. Improve our artillery. 275% research bonuses for support artillery. Don't mind if we do. Oh, Bulgaria. Oh, Bulgaria finally joined in. Nice. Thank you, Bulgaria. Now they have to put soldiers elsewhere. Those guys do, so. Not great in some places. In a lot of places, it's actually not great. But hey, whatever. If we put enough pressure on them, they shouldn't be able to do anything, right? That's us. Ghazi, they're running out of manpower. They're doing okay. They are actually stacking a lot more bodies up there. Ah, but we're actually pushing in. That's actually kind of nice. Not going to lie. That is actually pretty darn nice. And we can lick our wounds when we're done here. We're getting more manpower anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, you, you go right there. Cut these six divisions off. Tanks, force it. Yeah, we're actually doing relatively okay trying to get into the Ottoman Empire territory here. Not bad. Of course, of course it helps with the Bulgarians coming in here too. We'll probably give them all the way up to... We can give them this. And we'll give them the territory that, what they want. So, that's fine with me. Come on, do we cut them off? Sort of? Are we fighting Saudi... Who are we fighting? Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Ottoman Empire, Sultan of Egypt, and Tripolitania, which we'll get down there probably eventually. Alright, not bad, not bad. We should be getting some major upgrades soon, if not already. No, no, no one yet. That sucks. Uh, more divisions. Don't mind if we do. Obviously, I'm not playing very optimally here. Absolutely not optimally at all. Because we're taking losses that we shouldn't be taking. But I'm a little lazy right now the time of this recording, so... It is what it is. Iraq should pretty much be falling very, very soon. They almost have no manpower. You guys are running out. You guys have more than enough. But their stockpile is not good. They're out of infantry equipment, artillery, anti-tank. We're out of artillery as well, but infantry equipment is not bad. And let's improve our armor, shall we? The Penny Incident. Nice. Like I said earlier, I don't understand how we're already 37 or 38 minutes in this video. I really just, I sometimes just don't understand. Maybe I don't want to understand. I probably don't. Deal with the Empire of Japan? Nah, we're good. Uh, war, more war, war propaganda? Why not? Do we need anything here? We need rubber. Hmm. Riyada? Riyad. Is it Riyad? Riyada? Oh, we're, we're really pushing in. Look at that. Samson? Go, go, go. Go straight to Constantinople. Uh, very nice. Better artillery. Not bad, not bad. It's almost June 1940. We could grab that, but I don't feel like it. Not bad. How about better planes? That would be kind of ideal. Oh, wow, look at that. They made an encirclement almost. They still have a port there, but not bad. Well, they did make an encirclement. Look at that, Bulgaria. Bulgarian boys are nice people. Al Jalf. We definitely need more uh, guys after this. Um, after that, go straight over here just so we can cut people off. Can improve the computing machine. Pretty good. Let's grab some better radar. Um, you guys are down there. Go to Mecca. That might be enough to take these guys out. I will get that anyway, so hopefully capitulate Saudi Arabia, then go straight to Egypt, through the Sinai Peninsula, get to Alexandria. Alright, not bad. Really not... They're not... Alright, Ottomans. 
So we've lost a quarter million. Not bad. We've killed off about half a million, so not too bad. I mean, you know, all things considered. Oh, yeah, it's looking pretty thick. Medina. Medina's next. Go, my tanky tanks. He, they are the tanks that could tank. Five, 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 five. That, they're literally all five except for Leia. He's just kind of like inexperienced, I guess we could say. Oh, yeah. All right, when in doubt, just go back into the ocean. Help us out. Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely not playing optimally at all. Oof. So we got enough guns. We need definitely more artillery. Eh, we have a good amount of there, though. Drozevsky. 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 Hefsky, Hefsky, Hefsky. Ooh, we lost that battle. That sucks. Medina time. Saudi Reva should collapse after this one. And do we have it? Do we have it? Oh, we got this. Not bad. And what else? Military police? That would not be bad. Not great, but not bad. Eh, it's only 73 days. Might as well, right? We got a bonus set for it anyways, right? I love Saudi Arabia. Thank you, Saudi Arabia. Very cool. Yeah, I think the trucks really made a mistake here just by, like, abandoning parts of the line. So... Oh, the, oh, they even gave us Constantinople. Nice. Thanks, Bulgaria. I love Bulgaria. Let's improve our armor, and that's literally literally our entire focus tree. Um, I'm not going to say it's bad or good. I'm just going to say it's it's, it's still in development, all right? It, it's still in development. Totally understand. So, no worries about that. Uh, production. Resistance might not be bad. I'm just going to click the political power. We have more ministers we want to, you know, use. Uh, stability. Eh, why not? Zog submits it. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a little late, but all right. Not bad, not bad. I don't think... Yep, look how weak they are. Holy crap. They have definitely done some stuff. Fall of const... Oh, I thought it already fell. Infantry expert, thank you. Anything else? How are the tanks doing? Hope they're learning a lot. Technically, I want you all to come all the way over down here, too. Whee! Something like that. There you go. And actually, if we can, let's get the tanks down south. Just because you might be able to blitz into Mes Mersa Matru. Uh, Japan, what are you doing? What are you doing, Japan? Why'd you cancel the non-aggression pact? What? Yeah, look at that. Holy crap, that's... They must be doing the last stand. They, I think they literally died there. Like, we, they, we didn't overrun them. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's so nice. That's so nice. Thank you, Turkey, or Ottoman Empire. I appreciate it. After this, I might consider just go to war with... Oh, I don't know. Dona Ejibund. Just because Germany's doing okay over there. I, mean, I don't want to split I don't want to split rewards with the French communists or radical socialists. Let's take out Dona Ejibund first and then take out the Germans when they're at their strongest, we'll say maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh not bad, not bad. Not bad so far. My apologies about that everyone, but usually when that happens, when I have a fade and fade out. I usually have to go use the restroom, or I have to do other things. Wow, we're actually doing really... Holy crap, we're doing way too well. But yeah, I usually sometimes just take a break to do fade and fade outs, just because sometimes you need them. But I'll be honest here, this is probably one of the most enjoyable videos I've done in quite a while. I don't know, maybe I'm just like not even caring about this right now. But I'm actually really enjoying this. Really, really, really enjoying this, so... Maybe my demeanor does not tell like show it, but I'm, 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 I don't know what else to say. I mean, this is a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun, not gonna lie. I should play more Victory of the Dual Monarchy mod, just because it's probably for a few reasons. First of all, I know Rush is not fully done yet. Totally fine. But because it's the focus tree is somewhat short and sweet, and kind of directly to the point and stuff like that. Oh, we broke over the, the Suez, pretty much. Um, you can do a lot in a short amount of time, which I really, really love. The game goes by pretty quickly. We get what we want done. So I'm actually, that's probably one of the reasons why I'm enjoying this. Uh, on that, we go to war a whole bunch. We got a lot of things, we get a lot of things accomplished, so it makes you feel really good when you get accomplished a lot of things, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I talk to myself too much. <laughs> Whatever, that's fine. How many, hold on, before we have anything. Oh, they're about to fall. We killed about 509,000, 420,000, so I'm going to say about roughly a million soldiers in all this while we've lost, what, 310? Let's say 350,000. Uh, the Bulgarians will get uh, compensated for their actions here, too. If we take uh, the Eternal City, we might do relatively okay. Okay, they took it. All right, that's all I needed. Cool. 
All right, so we all take everything. We'll take mostly everything. Okay, Bulgaria. Boom, boom. Adrianopol. Oh, uh, actually, we have claims on that. Mm, I don't know about that yet. There you go. Is that worth 50,000, guys? Actually, we don't have... Mm, that might be something that, that the devs, if they're watching, might want to look at. Just because we get claims on Adrianopol, but we don't get claims on Gallipoli. Gallipoli? Gallipoli. Gallipoli. Yeah, that... Mm, I'm not sure about that. Russian Republic. Um, I'm just going to take it all, pretty much, then. So, thank you. I wonder if we have any interactions, because... I know the Bulgarians want this as well. Oh, they actually have it as a core state, but we have claims on it. But there's no claim states right there, which is very weird, but okay, whatever. All right, so we're done with this army, for the most part. We're done with that army, which is very, very nice. You guys know what to do. You guys are doing a great job. Just keep moving on in. Take Aspan. I think, is that the place where there's a dam and they had a little dam incident there? That might be why. We got a lot of army XP, don't we? Holy crud. And better artillery, I love it. Let's grab some better anti-air. Oh, hello. Okay, well, um... This wasn't Belarus that people wanted me to annex. It wasn't even... Oh, okay, technically we did take out Finland, too. Uh, this wasn't Ukraine yet. So, yeah. We're looking pretty green. I love it. Okay, so... Don't know either of day. There's literally only one way around here. So, what if we did it like this? Now, if we go to war with the Dona Adria Bund, is that called Germany in? Because that could really complicate a few things here. Which I don't really want to interact with the Germans. Especially, oh, we can develop the oil fields. I like that. Oh, we can develop a lot of things around here. Any rubber? Probably not. Anything down here? No. So there's no point to just even see that. What, Ruthenia? Anything else? Meh, ship designer? Meh. Sheet for the Air Force? Uh, accidents? Air superiority. How about that? That counts with our lend lease, and we hopefully got a lot of... Oh, we actually are out of guns. We're doing better on artillery. Um, what if we did this as well? Let's throw on an armored car. Is that possible? Not very good, but it might save us a little bit of our infantry equipment. And let's spend some of that... More of that army XP with some of this. Night assault tactics. Very good. You guys go ahead and train. You guys train as well, because we will go to war with Ukraine by the end of this episode, which we're only 47 minutes into-ish. So not bad. Oh, and actually, you're going to start the new army. The new army. Brought to you by the Russian Academy of the Military. The fall of Paris. Second Valkyrie seems is, 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 is a, sees a similar ending to this first. All right. Very cool. Uh, um, yeah, it's going to be just a brand new infantry army. Cool. Pitorango, hello. And you are going to be led by Vladimir Manshetin. Manshetin. Very cool. Uh, and actually, give me one of you guys. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Arenos. Led by... Uh, politically connected to... No, Nikolai. I knew I'd hire him eventually. And Alexander Kut Kutipov. Very cool. You guys do that. You guys come over there. And do the Germans have anything else around here? Any other allies? Not in the north. So that's pretty good. Um. Actually, no, no, let's not do it like this. Let's do it like this. There we go. Just in case. There you go. Cool. They have upgrades. What we can get to do with? Forty, forty. Nice. Better planes? Yes, please. Is that it? Hopefully. Nah, that stuff is never too interesting. Winter expert. Eh, we'll grab because we can. Cool, we got plenty of fuel, even though we're still continuing to make our ships better, better, better. And fighters, why not? Mm, cool. We're gonna need way more guns, too. Cool. Yeah. Actually, guns are, good, are pretty good, actually. We need more artillery and armored cards and support equipment. Ooh. We got plenty of roads now, so 50, 50, 50. Followed up with 30. Um, 30, 40, 30. 50, 50, 50. Hefty, hefty, 50s. Yeah, a lot of 40s. Boom, boom. All right, then. Well, our soldiers are on the line already, ready to go. So let's stop training. See what we can do. You guys stop training as well. 
And let's go ahead and Balearic Islands here to the Kingdom of Italy. Good job, guys. Natural Spain. Uh, attack the Kingdom. Sure, why not? Oh. Karjala? Yes. Gains a court? Yes. Turkmenistan eventually? Yes. Beautiful. And actually, since we're here, you all go right there. If we can take out the Austrian Empire first and then take out the other dudes. Or just Austria. Wow. They don't have that much manpower. They're on limited conscription. Okay, not bad. They are led by him. They're authoritarian, so... Boost the weapons production, eh? Oh, they, they sent volunteers to China. They still have sent volunteers, huh? Not bad. Pretty good for them. Not bad. Light tanks looking like we have a small deficit there. That's fine, whatever. I don't want to attack Austria. They are reinforcing their border more and more and more, which is not ideal. But if we go to war, we probably can go to war economy. There we go. Oh, and America and both the UK want to help us help us out. Okay, interesting. Austria, East Indies, Kingdom of Ukraine, and Austria itself. Interesting. This might be a little too difficult to. Never mind. Okay. Oh, better anti airs nights. Nice. It's almost 1941. Let's grab some more output, shall we? Illyria, not bad. Force them to die. Slovakia, not too concerned if the Slovaks get involved, so. If you can, tear them asunder from their booties behind them. Again, go right ahead. Alright, so I'm actually, I should have been paying a little bit more attention up here. We're do we're, it's definitely a mixed bag up here. It's not great. It's not bad. We are definitely being able to push in. I mean. So don't lose your area of supply and we'll be okay. 50. Holy bad words. That's a lot of losses. Bulgaria. I'm going to call them Bulgaria maybe too. Yes. Better radars. Nice. Grab some more construction speed because we can. Eighty-four thousand versus roughly about eighty-four thousand, including the Ukrainian eighty-four thousand. Not bad. I mean, obviously, I'm still not playing very optimally. Oh, it it'll join the. Okay. Uh, atomic research is nice. We can grab some of this too. It's a better radar, even though we're not even building radar right now, which is probably a big mistake. There you go. And the Americans and the Brits have shown up. All right then. Don't know if the Ukrainian can really keep this up. Then again, can we? We got enough manpower, of course. You guys have already lost some. Everyone's lost quite a bit of manpower. Guns probably as well. Whatever. Uh, yeah, we lost 131,000. We've actually taken more casualties. Well, technically, they've ta still taken more casualties than we have, which is pretty good. But still. You guys should help out. I can't imagine Austria would have a massive stockpile of, of weapons. Just, actually, you know, let's stop attacking. Let's, everyone stop attacking. Let's reform the entire front line, because Ukraine is looking quite a bit smaller, which is very, very good. Let them attack us. Let us reform our tanks a little bit more. And do well. Just kind of hold where we're at. Have a good time. Get, make a few more guns first because we just ran out. We need thousands more pieces of guns now, so that's not good. Uh, we'll go up to it that much. There you go. 30. Just reform the infantry uh, lines. That'll be good. America, please don't attack when we don't need to. That's a, such a waste of life. Alright. What we're going to do with the tanks is what I'm going to call the Ukrainian cutoff. Oh yeah, now this is going to be a gamer move. We're going straight north. Tank on tank action. Let's get all nine tank divisions next to each other, ready to go. We got enough of this. We can probably go ahead and grab some army grouping more recovery. Eh, it's okay, we're not using close air support capital ships. Uh, army regrouping because we can use that probably. Alright, any upgrades? Any upgrades anybody here? No, disappointing, of course. Why would we? Alright, we already... Add 3,000 more guns to our stockpile. Great. Give about five more seconds. Maybe-ish. Maybe four seconds. Mm, actually, maybe we'll attack here because that's a major city, major city there. So, uh, but that will grab there and then we'll grab there and then take another one off. Go right there and then take another one off and go right there and then just go right there and have a good time. If you would like to, all but one on each side will go right there if you can. That'd be nice. There you go. Nice. Uh, help them out too. And I'm actually going to send half of you guys here too. Light tanks, go right ahead. You are not allowed to lose, so you must do what you must. 
drop their organization like c -c -c crazy. Actually, half of you guys here. You keep these guys in place. Get one division go this way too. Come on, break through, because if we can just break through, the tanks can do a great job. We're there. Go, go, go. Operation Ukrainian Crossing is going according to plan so far. Oh, hello. Who, who, who enabling made it? Must have been Bulgaria or something. Yep, that's not a smart idea, guys. That's not really a smart idea, but whatever. Keep going, keep going. You're doing a great job, and... Come on. Oh, we got him. Oh, we did it. The Ukrainian crossing has been successful. Now we just got to hold it. Use the tanks. Use the tanks to destroy the tanks. Uh, Just hold, and why are you going that... Not even bother to ask. Just go in. There you go. They've been completely 100% cut off. As they should be. Just, just go in, guys. Seriously, just go in. I don't want to read how many divisions this is, but it's a quite a few divisions. Quite a few. We've lost 171,000. This was a giant... Oh, they broke our cypher. Oh, we didn't even do cypher stuff. Oh, we can do that. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Ukrainian crossing. Oh, hello. Oh! People don't like... Uh... Oh, that is... That's going to spell the end of these guys then. Nice. We got to deal with Romanians and Serbs as well. Oh, love it. After this, we're going to get all the guys on the border. We're going to have a as much planning as... Well, maybe not as much planning as possible, but... Enough to make us feel really good about ourselves. Put it like that. Can we actually kill them off before I end this episode? We actually might be able to. Go in, boys. Go in. Ah, oh, so many going to be dead here so super quickly. Oh, hello. They don't like Bulgaria? Well, that's not good. Why don't you like Bulgaria? They're our buddies. Now they're going to rearrange themselves. That's fine. You guys just go on ahead and do this. And that. There you go. All right, casualties way higher now. Nice. Uh, I'm going to hold off for that for right now. I will come in, just not yet. Let's grab some more cap as well. Very good. And get some more light tanks, because now it's 1941, so that'd be good. Beautiful. They're dead, as they should be. Uh, at this point, we're just going to stroll right on in. Everyone, just, just go ahead. Just... just Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. So, yeah, that actually killed off a ton of divisions that they had. Just delicious, my friends. Oh, never mind. I forgot about this. I forgot about this hole. Wait, there's another hole down here. Well, crap. I thought we were doing so well. And we are. We still are. But you know what? They can deal with the, the resistance then. My bad. I thought we were doing so well. So well. And we still are. It's not like any of these places are cores, so... If anything, that's just going to hurt their stockpile and just raise up resistance, which is not very good, but whatever. Uh, just go. We're going to go literally straight into Vienna and burn it down, so whatever. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to do that too. Uh, cancel on these. Eh, got enough artillery now. Look at that. Beautiful. Gunzo could use a little bit more improvements. So, uh, sport equipment could use more. Actually, motorize. Um, actually, if we replace you all with motorized, would that be good enough? Oh, uh, that's why. That's good. All right, I'm gonna boost up our motorized a little bit more as well. There you go. Not bad. Get those guys down there and just push as hard as you possibly can against those guys. There goes Ukraine, and even more guys have been encircled. Beautiful. I love it. Absolutely love it. Gonna go. That doesn't even matter at this point. Uh, Air Doctrine, probably next. Because we'll have our Land Doctrine ready to go too next. Come on, kill them off, kill them off. Come on. Why are you taking so long, son? And, boom. Alright.
The South is merely distraction. Go straight in for Vienna. Uh, this is a point. Um, I'm going to say, just concentrate yourselves like this, actually. There you go. Now we're out of guns. No, we're not. we got more than enough guns and artillery, so we can do even more. Now it's all tactics. Let's grab some additional containment. Very good. Ah, Anton. Beautiful as level 6. Love it. Anyone here? Anyone here? I just kind of want you to hold and just do whatever we need to. Do what you need. We'll be fine. We will be more than fine. Ah, uh, sure, that's fine. I don't care. Oh, that might put us at war with these guys, too, though. Eh, I don't really care. Germany's still trying to fight the French. Good. As long as they're so distracted, that's good for us. Tanks, how are we doing? Uh, if we need to force the attack. Push, 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 push. Which means next episode, we'll, we will end up fighting um, the Germans and their Italian allies. Maybe even Romania, so... I feel like the next episode will probably be the last one. Just because I don't want to go to war with Japan. So, yeah. Not bad. So, we've lost about 200,000. The Balkan League, of course, is doing its work. Oh, Serbia could capitulate, too. Then they had to kill off Romania, too. The Berlin Pact, of course. Former department, not bad. Thank you. Nice. They've lost over half a million already in Austria. Beautiful. Oh, Ella, yes. I love how they're just trying to expand down there, but none of this really matters. Oh, Transylvania. We've reached Hungary. Good. We've reached Slovakia. Their Polish little puppet state is almost completely dead. Get to Vienna. Vienna. Uh, beautiful. Let's integrate both these places too. Anything else? War propaganda? No. War bonds? Sure. Oil fields. Cool. Construction four. Let's grab some rubber making. Boom, boom, boom. Good enough for me. Let's go. Dutch. Yes. I don't care. Go right ahead. Cluj. These guys have been cut off as well. I love it. We were fighting through the mountains is probably a really bad idea. Come up to here so you, so you can find some more mountains up here as well. I could send you guys down south, but you know what? Have you guys help attack as well for now. Oh, wait. You don't have any orders. That's why. Oh, the... Oh, yeah, we're, there, we're still on that, too. That's nice. Uh, America, sure. It doesn't matter. Just keep them in place. That's the most important thing to do right now. Um, Sure, sure, for now. Why not? We'll allow it. Uh, all right. We're, we're still going straight for Vienna. Force it. Get Bratislava. Tanks, go, go, go. Oh, man, this is a, this is a fun episode. Uh, I, I got somewhat worried here when they started pouring through the border, but they're taking territory that I don't care about at all. So Beautiful. Six, five, five, six, five, five. Nice. Right. Leonid is learning quite a bit, which is good. Alexander, any upgrades? No, you're so disappointing, man. Why can't you learn? Oh, there goes Slovakia. Hungary's next. Or, or Austria. Where's the capital of Austria now? Vienna. Oh, Vienna. So that's fine. And it'll soon not be the capital. It's not the capital. Ah, Prague. Or Praha, as some would call it. In Czech, not Prague. Prague's does not exist, as far as I know. Are you kidding me, Milan? That's a core? That's a, that's really a core of Austria? All right, then. Well, you just do them dirty, I guess. Nice. Three, four, three. Uh, Budapest is the frontline city, defended by a few Hungarians. But it'll fall like all the others. Budapest has just about. Oh, UK. Fallen. There goes Hungary. Another one bites the dust. We've killed over a million enemies. We've taken about a quarter million casualties. Can't say I am. Can't say that I'm disappointed. I'm not disappointed at all. This is great. Steel? Ah, oh, chromium. Sure, why not? Why not? Because we can. Uh, 
Let's go to Rizjeka. Actually, does Illyria have a unique focus tree? That'd be kind of cool if they did. They do not, but they do not. Eh, maybe they'll get one someday. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, if you like to kill them off, that'd be great. You guys doing your job? Very nice. Oh, man. Who's going to kill, ca capitulate faster? Me, uh, the Austrians or the French? Because this is a lot of territory to defend against the Germans, but that's all right. Oh, we actually lost a division here. We must have gone circles or something. Hello. Uh, that's not, this is really not good. If we could beat up the Austrians a little bit faster, I would really appreciate that. Oh, crap. Now we're going to probably fight these guys too soon. There goes Transylvania. Nice. Good. Oh, wait. Did the Serbs give up? Looks like they might have, actually. Do we get in a circle here, too? Um, beat him up. Force it, force it, force it, force it. We gotta capitulate them fast, 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 fast. Because we gotta go to... Oh, Serbia has not capitulated, but they're super close. They are super, super close. Oh, Kaiser Wilhelm II is dead. Goodbye, Wilhelm. Send one guy that way. Help kill them off. Another armor division. Thank you. Oh, oh, wow, okay. Literally just trucking on into uh, Bergamo, Verona. I love it. Keep these guys in place. You go up there. Or in Brook. Alright, we did it! We capitulated these guys faster than we could than the Germans could capitulate the French. Um, Bulgaria. Let's talk about the Bulgarians. Oh, the these guys never showed up either, so we can't really give them anything. So I guess we'll just take care of them then. Yeah, this is actually really nice taking these guys out first. Instead of having to go to war with both of these guys at the same time. Oh, we can say, oh, I didn't settle these guys. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. I didn't. That's eh, fine. It doesn't really matter too much, though. Oh, well, Japan is still fighting and doing pretty darn well against the Chinese, but the Chinese have expanded quite a bit more, so. Oh, wow. Okay, Von Trapp. Ah, oh, there's Von Trapp. Cool. And I guess that'll probably end our episode here for today. I think we've done really, really well. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will beat the snot out of the, out of the Serbs. And uh, probably take out the Greeks and take out the Germans. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.